Most of the people have no idea how electric current gets from the power station to their home. Let us take a look at the transfer scheme. Generators produce electric current. They are installed at a power plant. The generators are turned by water, steam or other types of forces. The voltage of the electric current produced by the generators ranges from 3000 to 24000 volts. The voltage is determined by the capacity of a particular generator. Setup transformers are situated near the power station. They increase the voltage of the current produced by the generator to a value of 110,000 or 500,000 volts. This ensures that less current is lost while traveling over aerial circuits. The enormous voltage of the current is decreased twice at the location where it will be used. The first group of transformers decelerates voltage to a value of 6,000 to 20,000 volts. The second one decreases it to 400 volts. At home, we are accustomed to using wires made of two conductors. For instance, lamps and TV sets have such wires with plugs that can be inserted into sockets. Electric current running through one conductor in the wire is called the phase. After it has been used in a radio or an electric bulb, it returns over the second conductor called ground wire. The generators at the power station produce three phase current. It runs over three conductors of a large diameter towards setup transformers. Electric current of extremely high voltage produced in transformers again travels long distances or three conductors in the aerial circuits. Only after it reaches the last transformer does it run over four or five conductors. Here, the ground and lighting conductors are added to three phase cables. In rural areas, you can see five wires on the poles situated, for instance, near the houses. Two wires go from the poles to each house. One of them is a phase with the current and the second one as the ground.